I came to the energy conference in March this past spring at this place called Sunrise Ranch because I was curious about energy healing modalities. I'd never been here before, never heard of the place. I knew of the music festival, but I had never attended. I'd never heard of the emissaries of divine light, and I sure had never heard of attunement. So you could say I walked through the pavilion doors that morning with the right combination of curiosity and, as it turns out, courage. Two and a half weeks later, I was accepted into the internship program, ensconced in a comfortable room, and one of seven interns experiencing our first introductory class session. Those were the first steps into what I want to describe to you as an adventure into a wondrous garden for the soul. These past months have been a carefully laid out and planned tour through this garden. The garden is full of beauty, variety, history, and legacy. It's not a straight garden path, but one with twists and turns. There may be benches along the way where you can sit and stay a while when you have extra work to do in a park here or there. There may be rocks that need to be removed or worked around along the path. It turns out that everyone experienced the adventure a little differently according to what they bring with them to the journey. We enter the garden in the profusion of the color of the spirit of blessing. As we walk, we begin to acclimate to our surroundings. We begin to become aware, more aware, of the profusion of the variety of blessings and the overwhelming richness of the number that are in evidence to us. We get to spend enough time here to really begin to appreciate the overflowing depth and vastness that makes up this part of the garden. If we're paying attention, we cannot help to begin to wonder at the origins of the blessings and the whys of them. The sense of gratitude begins to grow within as we attentively walk within this garden. Wandering further down the path, we are led into the garden of the spirit of the single eye. Here we begin to learn to focus and to see things a bit more clearly. We begin to have more understanding about how this garden came into being and how it continues to thrive and grow. And so it goes through all the endocrine systems and the spirits of the body. Each system is named for its own spirit, and each is filled with its own lessons and its own colors. Sometimes we are taught about what has gone into the soil of the garden to make it rich and fertile. This past legacy of tenacious men and women who laid the groundwork and worked in the compost created the rich soil that has allowed the garden to flourish and remain creative and alive. Somewhere in my wanderings through my own experience of this sunrise garden, I began to remember a time when I was invited to start tending my own personal soul garden. I was 13 at the time and had answered the call to experience full emergence baptism. I remember the call, feeling the intimacy of familiarity, of being welcomed home, in a sense. Now I began to recognize that I had shut this presence out of my life. I had stopped listening. I had stopped feeling. I had stopped tending my own garden, allowing room for this inner experience to thrive and grow. I began to understand that I had been denying myself the sense of self-worth that comes with patiently tending and loving the garden within. Giving it the compassion and love it deserves because of the loving nature of its very essence. This remembering process was not easy. Shame and guilt would not let me just walk away from all of my past. No, I had to learn to forgive, surrender to the remembering, to the knowing, 
that despite all my inability to see and understand, I have always been loved and never alone. It was finally time for me to remember who I truly am as a spiritual being. Open my heart and begin to see through new eyes with new understanding just how blessed I have been and continue to be. And to be in so much gratitude for all of those blessings and the overflowing joy that accompanies this broken open heart. That transformation, friends, is the magic and miracle of attunement and the loving and careful tending of a faculty and staff who know firsthand the power, beauty, and freedom of attunement as a way of being, as an alive, creative, evolving force in the world. It has been an honor and a privilege to be on this journey through this garden. To now have the opportunity to take this way of being to the world in some small way, to be aware of my intentions and actions that have an impact on the wider creative field of the world. What a gift to be able to give back in reciprocity. I am in deepest gratitude for this experience, for the community spirit, for the faculty, the staff, and the many wonderful people I have come to know and love for the valley and the wildlife that call this place home. It has all nourished me beyond measure. Thank you all for sharing it so generously with me.